Hi guys, so I have had a couple requests to do my updated foundation routine, what I've been doing lately, and also to show you how I do my contouring with a darker foundation. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, also, a lot of people have asked me um, how many shades darker to go when contouring, and originally I thought it was about seven shades darker because that's what I was told at a makeup class. Um, but I really do think that that is something that you really need to evaluate, and I think it's purely situational. I think that um, talking to other makeup artists and things like that, it's something that is situational. For daytime, you might not need as contoured a look, or for a bridal look, you might not need to be so contoured, but for evening, it might need to be a little bit darker. So just depending on what situation, what look you're going for, whether it's in the daytime or evening, that's something that you really need to evaluate and think about. You might even have um, a different shade for daytime and a different shade for evening time. So just depending on um, what your what kind of look you're going for, that's really going to judge um, what color you're going to need. So generally speaking, I would say a couple shades darker just for an everyday look. Um, and I've been using NC55 um, full coverage foundation. It is a little bit orange for my skin. I would like it to be less orange, but once I get it blended out, it seems to work really great. Um, also, if you need to go over it with like Hoola bronzer or Chocolate Soleil or something like that, um, you can kind of deepen it up that way too. So just depending on um, what kind of look you're going for. So if you're interested in seeing my current foundation routine, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by prepping my skin and I'm going to moisturize it by using Fix Plus or there's another mixture that I have here that Goss the Makeup Artist talked about a while back and he talked about using vegetable glycerin or glycerin and mixing it with water. So I just have my spray bottle here. I put a teaspoon of this in here and then filled the rest with um, bottled water. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that on the skin. I'm not spraying it directly because I do have makeup on my eyes, but I'm just going to, sp I sprayed it on my hands and I'm patting it into my skin. Make sure your hands are really clean. And um, the best time to put moisturizer on your skin is when it's wet. And so I think that's the idea behind this is kind of like getting your skin wet. And if you want to add a moisturizer, you can always do that if you have dry skin. But this seems to be um, pretty moisturizing to me. And it kind of leaves the skin a little bit tacky, which I feel helps to keep my makeup on. Um, so next I'm going to be using my primer and I like to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Light. I like this because it is super light. Um, it just leaves the skin really soft and makes my makeup go on easier. And I like this better than a lot of other primers because it doesn't make my makeup come off blotchy. I know that the point of using a primer is to kind of keep your makeup on and some of them I feel like keeps it on too much so it comes off like really blotchy looking. Okay, so that's patted on. I'm just gonna let that set and dry for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna start with my foundation. I'm using the Studio Fix Fluid in NC30 and I'm using my Sigma F80. I just have two pumps on there and I'm just going to work that into my skin. My skin is really uneven right now. I've been tanning because we're going to Mexico in a couple weeks. Actually, in a week we're going to Mexico. So I've been trying to get my skin used to the sun because if you don't get it used to the sun or prepare it, then when you go there and you are in the sun, you burn. I, I don't like to tan or get like a lot of sun exposure, but it is vacation and I do want to have a little color to my skin and I don't want to be miserable and burnt. So my skin's kind of uneven from that. So I'm just going to take it down onto my neck and blend it in. And now I'm going to be taking a little bit of my foundation. I have two different foundations right here. I have my MAC Full Coverage Foundation in NC25, or not NC25. This dark one is NC55, and this right here is a mix between NC20 and NC30. And the foundation looks like this, and it is not on the MAC website. You have to be a pro member to get this for it to show up on the website, or you have to actually call the MAC um, 1-800 number and you can order it that way. A lot of people think it's discontinued, but it's not. You just have to um, call to order it. Okay, so I'm going to just take my NC30 
30 and I'm going to just cover up any spots that I have and get around my nose basically where I have um, just places that I need to conceal. This foundation is pretty much like concealer so it's going to cover up pretty much anything. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of the NC55, and this is a little bit orange for me. Um, I think I, I chose the darkest color. Um, it does come off a little bit orange, but it does create a nice kind of bronze look. So just taking my finger, and I'm going to find the bottom of my cheekbone, which you just feel where your cheekbone is, and there will be um, just right below it kind of like a little indentation that you can fill with your finger. Um, if you can't find it, usually it's right here on your ear and then you just take it down um, the line towards the corner of your mouth is usually where it's at. But I'm going to stop just at the end of my eye, so I'm just going to take that and just draw a line right there. If I'm doing it on someone else, I will use like a spatula and just draw a line that way. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my temples, like that. And I'm not going to place any where I'm doing it along the hairline. I'm going to use my brush for that. Um, and then I'm going to just take a little bit down underneath my chin and on my jawline. And this works great um, if you do have like a little bit of a double chin, it will kind of help to hide that. Okay, so now I'm taking my Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 and I'm going to blend those. So I'm just going to kind of blend it up and just blend out the line so there's not like any harsh lines. And I'm going to take it a little bit onto the ear and I'm going to go up and blend my temple area and I'm just going to connect those two so I want that to be connected. I'm going to use whatever's left over on the brush and take it into the hairline. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just working it into the skin taking it onto my ear so it all blends together and then down onto my jawline and I'm bringing it a little bit up onto the jawline because um, I want it to all blend in together I don't want it to be like lighter and then all of a sudden on my neck be darker so I just like to blend on my actual jawline right there Okay, now I'm going to take that lighter mix of NC20 and NC30. There's not an NC25 in the full coverage foundation, so I just mix those two together. And I just am going to put it underneath my eyes in that triangle shape that everyone talks about. Um, this is something that's, you know, a preference. Some people like the look of the um, brighter face underneath the eyes, and some people don't. So. I happen to be one of those people that like it. I just think it um, really gives dimension to your face. Not everything, in my opinion, should be one color. And I'm also going to take a little bit down the center of the nose and then up onto the center of the forehead, just right there. And then bringing it a little bit above the eyebrows. Make sure it's blended evenly on the edges. Okay, also I like to put a little bit right here on the inner corner, just on the edge. I feel like sometimes my eyeshadow can get flicked over there when I do my crease color so I just like to 
clean that up a little bit. And then also along the edge of my eyeshadow, I always like to clean that up. Okay, so now I'm going to set everything with some powder, and I'm using my Cargo Blu-ray powder. I'm just using a big fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder Brush, and I'm just going to go over everything. Okay, so that's it for my foundation routine. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I'm using Blissful Blush from Tarte and my MAC 116. I'm just going to apply that to the back of my cheeks. And I love these blushes. They stay on forever and they're so pigmented. They're just super pretty. They have um, really pretty colors that I think are good with a lot of different skin colors. Okay, now I'm going to use my highlighter and I'm using Whisper of Guilt by MAC and my MAC 109 brush. I'm just going to put that um, just on the top of my cheekbones, just a little bit. Um, this, blush really, this brush really helps to just blend it in and make it look a little bit more natural. 